I think I'm pretty much done anyway. I'm kind of at the limit of where I can walk. Today, right now, it's actually so feeling like summer. Heading back towards the car. It is actually feeling a little bit like summer. And so, in case the battery does does give out while I'm walking, thank you for coming on this little bluebell walk with me, and I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Don't forget to like and subscribe, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, slug. Slug. Mind you, don't tread on that. Don't know what he's doing in the middle of the path on a hot day. He's not going to fare very well, is he? And we're now going slightly uphill, so I'm going to be a bit a bit breathless going up the hill. Quite aside from all my ailments, I'm getting old as well. Not as old as I intend to be, but... Oh, you won't be able to see them from here, but through those trees there, then you've got the valley that goes down, then as the land comes up again to about the same height as we are on the other side, that's another carpet of bluebells through there. It's just glorious. Absolutely glorious. A magical little place that not many people know of. And our entire little walk, not another soul, apart from Neil, and I brought him with me, so that's permissible. I do like to get out and about and in relative solitude. Stunning again. I'm always happy that there's crows nearby. I do love the old crows. As we get back to where we came into this little woodland, there's a, a house right there, well, a pair of houses. And I think how lucky are those people to, to just be able to walk out of their door and do this every day if they wanted to, all through blue, bluebell season. And part of me is thinking just walk straight up the path and then I keep thinking no turn a little bit to the side so if the battery's hanging on then you get to see what I can see at the side of me as well. There's another YouTuber I follow who every Friday goes out into the most glorious countryside to do what he calls a walk and talk and I so enjoy those Friday visit videos of him, even though he's talking about very serious things, just the the views and the scenery that he now I'm looking straight ahead there. There's a lovely patch of bluebells and there's a, a very man-made green type of thing there and I can't yes. make out what it is. Looks like a water bottle. Either a water bottle or a compost bin, I nearly fell. Yeah. Well, Perhaps that's be. the end of their garden. Maybe. Maybe it's a different type of beehive. Oh, could be. Could be, that's true. But it just looked very kind of man-made green rather than natural. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what bluebell honey would taste like. Oh, yeah.
Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that is probably just the end of, of the garden from the house that we're approaching. Oh, I thought you were trying to save the tree. <laughs> That tree's definitely on a lean there and I thought Neil was going to go and try and push it back up, right? <laughs> Haven't got a chance, mate. <laughs> now this tree here is a metaphor for me falling apart at the seams but still going strong <laughs> did you hear that yeah. well it is I mean you know you'd think with this sort of decay going on that it wouldn't survive but you look up and it's doing all right heading towards the place where we came in so I'm going to end the film here because I don't want to include the person's house because that invades their privacy so thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed our bluebell walk just trying to get that last few there as I turn off